Hello guys, I am very sorry for not making as much videos as, as I should be, but it's okay. Now, as a swing trader, we are always following trends. Now, in each year, if you can find two or three or four stocks that trended very well, you can make a lot of money uh, from them. You don't need to buy 100 or 200 uh, stocks and just, just buy and sell, buy and sell, buy and sell as people as some people do. This will make you lose a lot of money. But whenever you buy some stocks, if after one week or two or three, you succeed, just stay until the trend finishes now the trend when it finishes it will show on the on the chart that's why we are charts we look at the chart and uh, we see where the stock is going if it stops going up it's going down and if it's going down it could go so bad so you should always watch I'm not saying you watch every 10 minutes or every half an hour. For example, for me, it's daily watch. You just watch what's going on in every day when it ends. And after a few weeks, you will see. If you are making money, you just stay. There are many signs. You know where the stock stops going up and it's going down. Now, the most important thing is when you buy a stock, After a few days, if it goes against you, you should sell. Now, in my training, the best thing you should do is before even buying the stock, you should have an idea at what price you will be exiting the trade. And this, most of the traders, I'm telling you, most of the traders, 95% of the traders, they will never think on when to exit. And this is the real problem. They think when they buy, they will succeed. But this is not the truth. The truth is when you buy, whatever is your strategy, it, it, it doesn't matter what is your strategy. What it matters is if you succeed and you have a trend in that stock. If after a few days, it go against you, you should have some price in your mind. Either you should look at the chart or you have a percentage in your mind like 5% or 10% or 7%, whatever percent you like. And each trader is different from the other. If someone is teaching you uh, to do some percentage, this is a false information. Because each trader has uh, a risk tolerance that it is different from the other trader. So I, for example, if I want uh, to exit a trade, uh, it should it should never be the same as my friend or as my student or as another trader. It shouldn't be because we have different uh, different uh, mindset and different risk tolerance. Okay, and if something is against you and you exit it's always good to exit when things are bad because the most important thing in trading is that people they wait too long and this is one of the biggest mistakes that will erase all your profits and all your money that you that you made the whole year and this is what we call a beginner's mistake but even some people who are very experienced sometimes they do the same mistake as a beginner they are in the trade it's against them and they stay too long one day two days five days one week two three and they become weak and they don't know when to exit and they say and they begin to think that things will be okay in after two weeks or three weeks and he begin to read uh, some articles that the company is doing this and doing that and he thinks that the price will be going because of this news and then when he discovered that it is too late 
and then he will sell but with a big loss when you do trade and you do a big loss like 30% or 30% or 40% it's over for you you will never be a trader because you are losing all your money by doing bad mistakes so exiting is one of the techniques that saves your money and most of the people they ignore this and they they just have this naive um, naive uh, information about the market you know the mark the market is merciless if you do the mistake and you stay it's your problem not the market the market price is uh, the it's an online auction Wh where is the price is the right price okay if it goes down it means that people are selling and some people are shorting if you stay and you are losing money it's your problem it's not the market problem and if you begin to understand all what they say in this video I think your trading will ameliorate and you will be a good trader okay thank you very much and have a nice day